onto yours then, Jay. Yeah, I've got loads. <laughs> I, I like having that sort of bait, but no, because I'm going to do two different things. Of course, I'm going to fish me paste, and I'm going to fish me meat. Firstly, I've got, I've got a few different ways I'm going to feed me meat. I'm going to talk about that when we're... Ooh, this one in my <gasps> peg. That's in my peg. <laughs> um, when we start fishing. But mainly, I want to talk about the two different ways of either getting your meat down to the bottom, which is what my mushy meat's going to be about, keeping a nice little pile, or loose feeding me meat. It, it's a nice versatile bait that... Uh, given the right depth, you can do two different things. I'm also going to talk about what baits accompany it, things like that. To keep it nice and simple, but at the same time, you can play about with baits and do whatever you want to do with them. Right, so liquidised meat, and you're probably the same as me thinking, I've always associated liquidised meat or riddled meat, putting a little bit of ground bait on it and feeding it in right shallow water in the edges or across on snake lakes. Yeah. Uh, and I've always associated empty roach. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hemp, again, that's... In all honesty, it's not something I prefer to do with it. Right, okay. But it, it's, it's a, a way of keeping them on the bottom. Yeah, it, it's right. another way of feeding that helps present your bait in the way that you want it, which I'll talk about when we start fishing, uh, when we're feeding a bit of meat. The, the mushy meat for me, again, like I say, meat's very, very difficult to get to go down in a tight pile. Yes. Yeah, so if, if you have it in, it in its normal form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By making a little bit of mushy meat that I can make into a nice little ball, I mean, I can get that to go down in a nice clump as long as the depth allows me to. I can fish over it. So that's very similar to sort of like doing your balls or micros and that. Yeah, micros, ground bait, whatever. Exactly right, the same okay. sort of thing, but I can do it with meat. So I'm and fishing the same stuff as I've got on the hook. And obviously that, when it goes down into that ball, it's going to break out into sort of like what? A tea bag size and obviously a, a, yeah. a cube of meat over the top. It just stands out, doesn't it? It's a it's lovely like a little trap, bait. isn't it? So it's dead simple to do that. Literally, I've just pushed that through a riddle a couple of times. A yeah, little tiny riddle, a little two mil riddle, I think it is. Add a bit of water to it. It, it couldn't be easy. That's one tin of meat and that'll do for a full session, easy, because you're feeding tiny little amounts.